Hello everyone, Jason Alea back here again, and today we're going to be reacting to Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I really enjoyed the first Black Panther film. I have the poster back there, I got the movie on Blu-ray. Um, I remember how much of a cultural phenomenon that film was, everyone was talking about it. Um, it was nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. Uh, it had it won three Academy Awards. It was a big deal back then. And while it's probably dated now because its visual effects have not hold up very well even back then, I still think that film is very much enjoyable and you can have a really good time with it. And I'm very much looking forward to what this movie has in store despite the unfortunate passing of Chadwick Boseman. Uh, but hopefully they respect his legacy, um, and I hope that this film ends up being pretty good. So let's check it out. Okay, just need to get out of the She-Hulk trailer because I just finished recording my reaction to it. No woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. Eel, don't shed no tear. No woman, no cry. Is it just me? Or, do, or does the cinematography look absolutely gorgeous? And these visuals look amazing. Seriously, this looks really good. Well, I'm loving this so far. Is that I am? Namor? I am queen of the most powerful nation in the world! And my entire family is gone! Have I not given everything? I am hot. Alright! But this actually looks incredible. <laughs> All right. I'm actually looking forward to this now completely. Um, I would have prefer I would have preferred back then if they would have recasted. Chadwick Boseman, though I would understand why they would not want to recast in a way, but still think that they should continue on. I, based on this trailer alone, though, this does look like a respectable follow-up from before. Um, gives us teases of what we could expect to see. Like, is Sherry going to be the Black Panther? Who's the Black Panther at the end? Uh, what happened to the Black Panther in universe? Did he? I think he died. It looked like he did die. Um, looks like Black Panther's mother is now trying to keep Wakanda all together, all together, and trying to keep it a uh, civil civilized. And everything's now resting on her hands. And sure, he's gonna have to take up that mantle eventually from her, and possibly become the Black Panther against Namor. Um, maybe that's what the plot is. That's what I'm guessing from all the stuff and information we heard so far and this teaser, but still, the visuals, the way this looks, the cinematography. I know that Marvel lately have not been that great with this visual effect, and they're probably just showing all the best stuff in the trailer, like always, but seriously, based on these visuals alone, this looks absolutely incredible, and... 
honestly just on par with Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. I feel like lately some movies have been really incredible with their visual effects like this and Multiverse of Madness. While some are pretty dodgy in places like uh, Thor Ragnarok. No, not Ragnarok. Uh, Love and Thunder. I, we're gonna get to Love and Thunder. When I, I'll get my review out as soon as possible when I see the film. But, but based on the information I've seen, yeah. Okay, but that aside, I'm looking forward to this. This trailer is selling me so far on the film, and I am actually looking forward to this film. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time.